Hi, I'm Ilya with Headspin, and today I'm going to demonstrate our reverse bridge capability. Now, as you can see, I have no devices plugged into my machine, and I will now take my mobile device and plug it into my machine. Now I have my device over here. Now, these are all the Headspin devices that I have, but I'd like to bring my device onto the Headspin platform so I can run automation testing or let my colleagues in different cities or countries across the world access my device for testing. To do this, once I plug in the device, I simply run the HS command, providing my API token and the serial of the device. This command takes about a minute to run. And what's happening right now is we're establishing an ADB connection from my device to the nearest Headspin data center where the device will be placed onto the Headspin network. There will be one application clearly labeled as Headspin, which will be installed on my device. And this is what gives my device the ability to be controlled by the Headspin platform. Since my device was mapped to the New York data center, I can easily find it from the host table by looking at the New York data center. Here's my device. This shows that it's a remote connection. Here's that same ID that I showed you earlier. And now I can start using this device. Just like any other Headspin device on the platform, this device becomes available to me or to anyone else that has access to this Headspin team. So my colleagues in California, my colleagues in India can all access this device and they can use it for manual testing or we can go to the automation section and use this device through Appium, including capturing sessions works as well. For example, we can capture a session with or without networking. If we select the with networking option, this will install a man in the middle proxy on my device as well. The man in the middle proxy will capture the network traffic from my device, just like we already do with all of the standard Headspin devices on our platform. After the proxy app has been installed on my device, the session recording will proceed. Once the Tether app has been installed, as evidenced by the second Headspin icon here, the start button will turn green. And now everything that I do on this device is also being captured by Headspin into a standard Headspin session. This also works with Appium as well. If we go to another website, for example, we'll be able to review the session when the test has finished. As you can see, we are capturing. Okay, let's stop the session and take a look. Here's a Headspin session captured from my personal device plugged into my machine. As you can see, we are able to download the video content of whatever was on my screen during the test, as well as the PCAP or MARHAR files for the network traffic, as well as the device log. If this were an Appium test, we could also download the Appium log as well. On the timeline, you can see what was happening on the screen while the session was loaded. And down here at the bottom, we can see the network traffic that was captured while we were loading this particular site from my phone. Here in the middle, we have the usual information that we can get from Android, including layout specific metrics, frame metrics, battery energy drain, and current metrics from my device, as well as the network and IO in and out. Together, this allows us to provide a multitude of information about exactly what was happening on your device while it was loading, in this case, a website. Of course, it could be a native app as well. And Headspin sessions typically include recommendations about specific areas where you may want to look to identify either user problems or poor user experience or areas where various things could be improved either by a developer or possibly in the back end. For example, we identify duplicate messages, which can show us where we can save time and battery energy by not making the duplicate requests. Headspin also identifies things like unoptimized images, HTTP redirects, TLS exceptions, and even high battery energy drain. When I'm finished with using my device, I can simply go back to my console and disconnect the device like so. The device disappears from the Headspin UI because it's no longer available until the next time that I share it by running the provide command. I hope this short demonstration has been informative 
And I urge you to consider using Headspin to expand the capabilities of devices that you already own or to leverage our devices to help you make better applications and websites. Thank you for your time.